was there are some who believe that AIDS was this very same thing. Yes, it's a persistent rumor, isn't it? With more and more research coming out about the actual uh, research done by Libby Labs. So, you know, it, it's something to pay very close attention to. And if you well, let me ask you this, Ian. What, you, what I'm seeing in the news most recently, of course, is the bird flu, uh, West Nile virus. Uh, is it any of those things that we, we're seeing now? What they're doing is they're taking those things and tinkering with the germs to make them more easily passable from human to human. Uh, is it our? Is this an inside job or is this an outside job? Meaning, it's a paid inside job on the premise that they figure out how genes mutate, they will be more able to prohibit or put make vaccines for these things. Meanwhile, they're producing higher and higher strains of this disease. So <clears throat> I would I would implore people first to do whatever they can to improve their immune system. And if you go to that health link at our website, you'll get the most recent research. And do your study. Do not believe anything that I'm saying. Look at the broad research being done about glutathione across the planet. This is like penicillin is an antibiotic. It was a great breakthrough. But antibiotics are anti-life compounds. It's sort of like using dynamite to get rid of termites in your house. What dynamite does to your house is what antibiotics do to your immune system. So the first thing to do it's is... O in other words, it's overkill. It's way overkill. In fact, it, put the, it, it atrophies your immune system by taking antibiotics. But uh now, now we have... The data has been researched and discovered on how the immune system actually works in the first place, and you can feed your immune system directly. And it's very important that everybody who's listening out there look into this. Well, let me, let me ask you a couple of things, Ian. Uh, um, do you believe that what we often call alchemy will come into play in the near future? Uh, do you believe that we will be able to access healing sources and power outside of standard medicines that we know today? We already have. We already have. The current idea is to blast your system with antibiotic, antibiotics. If that doesn't work, then chop you to pieces. Yes. That's the current system. And now there's been a breakthrough in how the immune system actually does its job to repair an organ or to keep disease from disabling you. So please avail yourself of that. The next thing I want to talk about is your mind. Your mind is already under a lot of stress from basically being overtaxed with too many pieces of data and information for it to process comfortably. And uh, Ian, do you believe that is, there are some who believe that that is done, that is being done by design. In other words, that uh, those in power, and I hate to kind of lay this out in a kind of a conspiracy theory thing, but I don't know any other way to do it. There are some who believe that uh, it is by design that we are being overwhelmed today. With trying to uh, make pay with trying to make payments, with trying to keep food on the table, with just trying to keep our life together, and uh, of course clogging our mind, uh, and that this could be have been implemented by design. Your thoughts? Actually, it has been, but let's look at it in a much bigger way. All right. Mayan calendar shows that consciousness itself is expanding and accelerating. Consciousness itself. Yes. All the bad guys and all the conspirators are all playing inside of this construct or plan of consciousness itself. Yes. So all of those people are only elements of this coming along. And as we go, more and more becomes possible. That's why all these miracles are showing up, because more is possible to occur. That 
means more bad is possible to occur and more outlandish bad. We just got missed by an asteroid. But also more good is coming along. In fact, necessarily, more good is happening than bad. Has been all along, or we wouldn't still be here talking about it. That's more good point. has always happened than bad. <clears throat> so let's research. I mean, all we're hearing from the media is threat, threat, look out, duck, you know, put your head down, shut up, go home. That's what we're being told to do. <laughs> the thing to do is investigate all of the good things that are happening. There's yes. lots, of, lots of very wonderful things that are going on. Free energy machines that are functioning and working right now. Of course, you're not going to be able to buy them down at the Ace Hardware store. There's a petrochemical industry in the way for the moment. But those things are actually out there and functioning. You know, Ian, I, I, I must say that I, I now that you've brought this up, I have been feeling better. And you know, one of my benchmarks related to this is that I am beginning to feel marginally more empowered. Uh, and I'm also feeling that Bubba Bush is starting to lose his power. And the more Bubba Bush and his regime is, are losing their power, uh, funny how the more empowered I feel. So I am starting to turn uh, more into positive thinking and feeling hopeful once again. Well, that's very, very good and, 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 and correct in all the ways. Now, people on the outside, what you're going to be seeing is as these guys lose their power, they're going to become more and more desperate to hold on to it. Yes. So they're going, they're going to become more and more draconian or more and more drunken with their own power. Yes. Now, a drunk sailor is a whole lot different than a sober one. You know? Oh, yes. <laughs> He's actually a bit more dangerous. Oh, yes. And all of us have to keep that very much in perspective, but in mind. Speaking of mind... The mind, basically, what the mind did is, is an interface between spiritual and physical. But what we do with the mind is we reflect past experiences into our future. Would you please cut that out? The future is not going to be very much like your past. Most of what's happened in the past won't apply to possibilities in the future. People who are limited by their own concepts of what is possible or not possible are going to be retarded by those considerations. Wow. Use as best you can, put that away. You still have a mind, you'll still have to be able to add two and two, <clears throat> but the if you if you stand back and look at what your mind has done to you over your whole life all the fears, worries, droughts, dreads that it's fed to you, it's not your friend. Uh, uh, hold it right there for just a second, Ian. Uh, wow. Now, I can tell you, folks, and for those of you that have been following Ian and myself for some time, he has been rock solid and consistent about this, what I call the transition, uh, related to consciousness and related to the Mayan calendar and what is unfolding. I want to welcome all of those that are just now tuning in. Here we are at the bottom of the hour. It is 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, you're in for quite a ride already. Ian has introduced uh, some material that I wasn't even aware of. Of course, that happens a lot on this show. Uh, in the first uh, first 15 minutes, uh, Ian had outlined his his ideas about mutation, about genetic manipulation, um, and the good news is about our healing uh, powers and capacities are increasing. Natural uh, abilities to heal are increasing. Uh, and you can imagine what a threat that must be to the pharmaceutical companies. Oh my God, yes. <clears throat> Absolutely. We're up against uh, something like a $16 billion a year industry. Uh -huh. This new breakthrough. So it, it's going to take the public accessing it themselves. You're not going to see commercials for this. Right. Now, hold on. Ian. 